Hi guys, Mary and Kerr here. Um, thank you so much for watching all of our podcasts. This is podcast number four, um, and I hope to see all of you at the world premiere of Far at the Dances with Films Festival, which will be Wednesday, June 6th at 5 p.m. at the Chinese Six Theaters at the Hollywood and Highland Complex. Uh, podcast number four is about production stories, which is very near and dear to my heart because it was Andre Hall's birthday during production. When the camera's out and you got lights going everywhere and makeup and hair and like all this stuff, it's just everything you always want to do, you know? It's like just being on set is just great. It's not really work to me. Like, this is having fun. This is play. I knew it was going to be night shoots, so I expected that I would be really tired and like a little slap happy and crazy. And so far I've been okay. It's actually been pretty good. We're not turning on each other yet, which is good. <laughs> the most fun that's been about it is just the huge variety of stuff we've got to do. You know, we were at the golf and stuff, like playing mini golf and like running around video games. <laughs> I love the first night of being in golf and stuff. The location using the original Karate Kid. I mean, that's just cool. You can't beat that when you're out there doing that. My favorite moment has been the air hockey, which was the first thing that we did, just because it was fun to beat Andre at air hockey repeatedly. He thinks he's good, and he's not, really. So I had to kind of school him a little bit. Um, but now he knows that he's just kind of an okay player. And then that same night, we took a red camera and strapped it to the hood of my car, put our two actors in there, gave them a little bit of direction and let them drive off. And they went around the block a couple times. We, they came back, we watched the take, see what they did, direct them again, and send them off again. Nobody in the car with them, just letting them go and play and have fun. And that's what that first day was about. When we got to the second day, we were back at the New Beverly Cinema at the popcorn counter where we came up with the movie. And to have Julia there, who was in the star of Golden Earrings, the film that Marion Frank directed, was fun. And then that night was a crazy bit of shooting in front of my apartment. We didn't have a permit that night, stealing a little bit of a location, but we did it, got through it. I had some very nice neighbors, which was really cool. So tonight we are filming on day three, the end of the film. One of the big challenges of Marion's script was that she had this huge night exterior scene written for the ending. But how do you light a big night exterior? And producer Hugh O'Brien came up with the idea of using a baseball diamond that has a big group of built-in lights. The only problem was, when we got there, even though we had arranged with the permit office and the baseball diamond to have the lights on, the lights were off. And it was looking like we were going to not make our night. It was getting kind of stressful. And then suddenly... Oh, lights on. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, good. We can shoot our movie, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! <laughs> Round of applause for the lights! <laughs> that will change the that effect will of effect things. So wait, wait, now we're, we're gonna lose, go behind schedule because the lights came on? Yes. <laughs> Damn it! Action. My favorite part of production is just the fact that we're producing this movie. Um, it's been several years since I directed anything. I've produced three films, two of those I edited, um, but there is nothing that beats having it be my film, my vision. It's, it's really, really cool. Keep the same momentum going. I mean, I, I've always wanted to be an actor. I've always just wanted to do this. And like, what better opportunity than to work on such a, a great project with great people on your birthday? Like, that's the best you can ask for. So I'm loving life right now. I have no complaints. Stay to you.